The horse Eight Bells was euthanized on Saturday and everyone, including the animal activist group PETA, is wondering what went wrong. Today, we're going to try to get answers from the jockey in his first post-derby interview via satellite. Marco, thank you for joining us. Hey, um, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, I just wish it was, uh, wasn't under such sad, sad circumstances. <laughs> Have you always been this, um... Sentimental? Yeah, yeah, I'm a big old crybaby. I was going to say fat. You look a lot different than your photo on file. Well, you know, most jockeys uh, uh, binge and purge before a race, you know. I, lately, though, I've just been binging. Do you think that, um, maybe your weight could no, have been a Marta, factor I, in... I'd say anything could have caused Eight Bell's ankles to explode. Um, she was old, my weight. She was old. I, it doesn't really matter, you know. Why do we have to go over and over this, you know what I mean? There's no reason to beat a dead... Raccoon. Were you going to say horse? No. Yes. It, it doesn't matter. You know, these things happen. What are your thoughts on PETA demanding you be suspended? Marta, this isn't about PETAs or paninis or hamburger rolls or any other type of delicious bread product, okay? So I'm a little fat, all right? You know, it's just, it, it, why, you know, you have any idea what kind of pressure us jockeys are under to be thin and beautiful and pretty? I, I feel like Misha Barton over here, you know? I just, mm, ah, excuse me, a little hoarse. <coughs> oh, put me in my misery. What were we talking about? Sir, are you having fun with this? Yes, I am. <laughs> That's all for now. We'll be right back with more round-the-clock coverage on this Eight Bells tragedy. But first, Barbaro, still dead.